will boast about the Almighty Chiko Kika Abiyama, the Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth, the God who has all powers, who can do everything, and He who can kill and make alive. Here today, we, the topic of the message, or what I want to discuss with us, or what we want to rub our mind with, because I want us to. I want whoever that is watching now, please, wherever you are, if you have access to call, oh my, oh my God, I will call the number again, probably should because I, it's like, add it, I did it, edit it now, I did it. Yeah, I have to go to So we, because I forgot to put the number, so because we, I, I really like whenever we're making all the programs that one can call and contribute to heal our own uh, mind, because our enemies watching, they are watching. And not only that, our enemies, even among us as well, are also seeing all sorts of things and they're expecting that the more are the people who don't support Biafra. So you can call, well, and when you call and make your own contribution, your own suggestion, Juliet, happy birthday, happy birthday, one of the hardcore among us. You are welcome. So we are here to discuss about. The, because I was listening to a video today when a Ghana man, that is Anna, and uh, Nana Ado, the Ghana president, were like, why is it that after like how many years, after like 50 years independence, after like 60 years independence, after like how many years independence in Africa, still the African continent remain dark and darker. Even the more the Western world are getting expanded, expanding, and the more they are advancing in technology, the darker the African continent are growing. And to the extent that the man said to him that uh, they are not here again to start to accept information or suggestions again from the Western world. Somebody, and these are, uh, these are most of those reasons why where people are talking about European superiority. There's nothing like European superiority as far as my I am concerned. And there's nothing like maybe the Western world giving you an information on what to do and what not to do and therefore you yourself. For instance, the Western world did not say they, they should not be a road, at least a road on the street. That the Western world did not say don't build road for this people. No. The Western world did not say and, and I don't know how a Western world will tell you, don't build road for this people. And they themselves, they everywhere is road in their place. Of course, they cannot foolishly tell you, don't build road. Because they know when they say such innocent, you yourself, you will be under normal circumstances. What is really wrong with this people? So, the Western world may bring their own pollution just in order to bring some certain, maybe the means of sucking you, but they will not tell you, don't build road. This, the, I, I, to me, I believe that that is complete zero. In other words, the Western world will not tell you don't have light. Yeah. The Western world will not say, don't put light for this weapon. Because if you put light, what would the Western world say? So, I don't believe that Western world are contributing to whatever downfall of Africa. Because the same Western world who colonized Africa, the same Western world colonized most of Asia continent that are booming and striving very perfectly today. But the problem about Africa is jealousy. Jealousy is the problem of Africa, not uh, because of Western world. Jealousy is, a, is the reason why Africa were the way they are. Why jealousy, like as I could say, or if I want to say, the jealousy is that the Bible says, and not only that the Bible says, it is significant. The Bible said that God has given his gift and he distributed the gift according to the capability of each and every living human being on earth. That is to say we are spiritually or physically or mentally, intellectually endowed in different dimensions. We are intellectually endowed spirit different kind why because it is the creator that created it to be so now and the bible said all this endowment is for the benefit of each and every one of us that is to say socialization civilization 
We should allow whoever that can be, be able to do something to do it. And why the person is doing it, even though no matter, for instance, you, uh, you, you, you may say, come on, Ghana. Nothing like come on, Ghana. What we are saying is, can Ghanaians do it? This is what somebody should be saying. But they will say, hey, come on, Ghana. How can come on, Ghana? Do you see it now? So that is the problem about Africa. Everybody is common to them. And as far as you are gifted in different ways, they will not allow you to like shine. Why? Because they will say, you come on this. It has been the problem of the people from the Bible days. I am not here, please. I am not here to say happy Sunday. I have said it most of the time. I don't worship the God of the sun of the day. I don't worship the God of the sun. And I don't worship sun. Neither did I worship moon. So when you say sun day, the day they worship the sun, and I am not a partaker of those madness. Bear that in mind, I have said it most of the time, and I will repeat saying it again. I don't worship the sun. The sun here, as you can see, in Biafran flag, does not represent our God. The sun represents the brightness and the endowment of Biafrans. The sun represents the power of Biafrans. The sun is telling the whole world that we are the light, and with us, the earth can survive. That is the power or the representation. No, what the sun actually represents. In other words, I don't worship the sun because I am the sun. The Bible says, but we are the light of the world. We, are, we don't worship what we should be. We are the one. And the sun you are seeing on the sky as well is the radiation. Like you see, is whenever the sun, every dark places get disappeared because of the power, the, the shining of the sun. And it, the Bible told us that God created all this for sun and for season. God created them for sign and for season. God did not create them to be worshipped. So, you don't tell me happy Sunday. I hate happy Sunday. I don't worship the God of the sun. Neither am I a, am I a Romanian. Uh, uh, the Romans. The Romans worship the sun. And because of that, they call it sun day. Lunedi. In the Italian language. Lunedi. Lu Nay, D. That is the day they worship the sun. In English, what they call it, the sun day. That is today. So don't tell me happy Sunday. I have said it many times and I will repeat it again. I don't worship the God of the sun. Neither can I ever worship anything that was created by the Almighty. The Almighty is a spirit. The Almighty is not a, an object. Like as you see, the sun, whether in this flag or the one that the Almighty created, is an object. It cannot breathe or live as a living human being. It's an yes, object. Lunedi is Monday. It's Monday. And so, yeah, Sunday. Lunedi. Lunedi. So, Sunday is... Uh, I have to I've forgotten it. again. Mm. Lunedi. I thought it's... Nice, like moon. It's lunes. Sunday. Mm -hmm, Sunday is... Wait, I'm trying... So, I don't worship the sun, neither can I worship anything. That, this is why I am against not only the, the Western uh, traditional worshippers or the idol they worship. Dominica. Dominica, you know, Dominica. Domen, Dominica. It's Sunday. So, however way they said it or whatever, in an English translation now is what I'm trying to explain. Because as far as English colonize us and we are, we are talking whatever with English. And for instance, somebody telling me, happy song day. It is an somebody abomination is because you yourself, you have seen that it is the day of the sun. It's just like in our dialect when we talk about, when we talk about uh, arrow, say. So you see that the, your, your, the, your dialect has already condemned Whatever you you, you 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 are trying to justify, Aro and say so it, it means aranche. In our language, we call it aranche. <laughs> aranche means shit. <laughs> yeah, we call it an arrow means batting. So whenever you want to call 
the worship people that worship uh, all this whatever they are worshiping you call it aronshe in my dialect in my ezala dialect aronshe means aron is batting and she is shit so batting from the shit but still that is what we worship in another one in the um, english in the roman way they say the sun they the day they worship so you see that it has already told you this is exactly but the problem about africa or humanity is that they easily forget history and they don't like to go back to history and this is why there is education education is about trying to bring most of some certain exercises and what people have done and the benefit thereof and all the benefits so when you study all those things then you start to implement some certain things to bring your own study bring into existence another thing out of what you study that is why in europe here they don't only really study they practicalize what they study so that they will be, get fruit of whatever they are studying that is exactly but in africa you see why in, uh, whatever they can study at the end of the day one cannot practice what is studied. why because they do it theoretically so this is not what i'm saying today i came to know something very interesting what I'm saying today is the topic of today is Igbo leaders. Why? Why is, for instance, after the, there was incident that happened here in Europe during the time of Hitler. The Hitler, when Hitler came, he was like the light. He was like the sun. He was like the, the future of Europe. He was like, wow, this is exactly what we are waiting for. Why? Because the Bible said, for the endless expectation of the whole creation, waited for the manifestation of the Son of God. Sorry, before I go further, I say let us pray. If a lasting God of heaven, we bless you once again, because great is your faithfulness. We thank you for all you have done. We worship you for all your love and mercy upon our life. Thank you for a day like this. Tana Rock of Ages. We thank you for so far you have brought us, not because we have weapon, not because we have um, European or Western backup, but thou alone have did it. Father, they try to prescribe and they try to label us, they try to do all sorts of nonsense in order to jeopardize even the work where which you have started. But the Bible said, many is the counsel of the Lord, many is the plan of a man, but the counsel of the Lord standeth sure. And therefore, King of Heaven, your counsel and your plan has prevailed over Nigerian government and all their evil plan. Father, for this very purpose, we give you the glory. We worship you because of a man you have sent us, Mazinam, the kind of a liberator of human beings and the light of Africa. We worship you for this great thing you have done, even at this moment, even in my lifetime. Father, I say, let your name be exalted. We worship him for his life, wherever he is, we commit him also back to the Bible and all his family, his father, his children, his mother, and everybody. Father, we say, let your name be exalted in your life in the name of Yeshua. We also thank you, King of Glory, for the life of all the principal officers worldwide, from which I for the deputy to the head of the directorate of state, even to the lowest, even among the Biafran, all the principal officers, and as many, whether you're a principal officer, but work assiduously to see that Biafra is restored in a genuine heart, not the corrupt one. King of heaven, we say let your name be exalted in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. We commit also all of them back to the right hand that we ask and pray. As we are marching and heading to the new year, Lord, we ask that the glory that will surface even the whole universe that will cause the liberation upon Biafra, I decree let it come upon them in the mighty name of Yeshua Hamashat. Daddy, King of Glory, you did it during the days of Moses, and you liberated your people out of the hand of the uh, Egyptian king by, through your people that you have chosen at that moment and at that time. Father, we ask, let the same power that was upon Moses and Aaron and Miriam and as many of them that you used in that time, let the power fall upon each and every principal officer worldwide that are working assiduously for the liberation of Biafra. Father, for it is written, it is not by power, it is not by might, but by my spirit, said the Lord of hosts. Daddy, heaven and the Bible said, Lord, you are a spirit. Let that spirit that recreated the universe, as it is written, 
that the spirit of the Lord was moving upon the face of the earth. And the Lord see this need of light in the world. And the Lord said, Lay there be light. Father, by day, the same authority will decree. Lay there be Biafra. By the power that raised Yeshua Hamishak from the grave, we are so king of heaven that you perfect everything in which that pertains to this restoration struggle to your own glory. And let your name be exalted. That did that at the end of the day, even as we have vowed that Biafra will be dedicated to you. And only on you shall the foundation stand. Lord, we ask, do it at this moment and at this time. Even in, within this very time, O King of Heaven, that they thought that it is impossible. Do it and take all the glory because you are the creator of humanity and your power is above all as it is written that he who from above is above all and he who came from heaven is above all. Glorify your name, O Heavenly Father, at this moment to your glory and let your name be exalted. Thank you, glorious Father. Thank you, King of Heaven. Father, we also present ourselves to the evil hand that we know we are not worthy to call upon your name. We are not worthy to call upon the power that work wonder. We are not worthy because we know we are sinners. As it is written, that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And our incapability to make this work show us that we are sinful and we are wicked people. But that we present ourselves to the evil hand. We ask that you forgive us. Wash us clean and sanctified by the reason of the blood of Yeshua Hamashiach to your glory and let your name be exalted. Thank you, Father, for we know you have done it once again. Do it and take your glory. In Yeshua Hamashiach's mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. He said, he said, he said. So, like what I was saying is uh, this um, topic, why evil leaders? Evil leaders, why? Why is it that, like as I was saying, during the uh, time of Europeans, when Hitler came, it was like, wow, this man was the light, this man was like wonder, this one was like, wow, this is exactly what we are waiting for. And from there, he started to like manipulate some of them and to like turn their brain because to them, this is not what they are expecting. And immediately they see that in Hitler. I'm talking of Austria because Hitler studied in my envy in the city where I live. This is where Hitler studied. In gymnasium where my wife was, where she studied, that is the same place where Hitler studied. Here in Steyr, this is where Hitler was living. So Hitler was an Austrian, not a German. Hitler was an Austrian, so I am telling you exactly what I know. Enemy that are watching, so that you will know that I'm not just lying, or I'm trying to pervert the brain of the people, but I'm trying to tell you history of what that happened here. And that is why I'm saying, evil leaders, why? Now, after then, as they start to see the perversion and his plan, and they now realize that this man is not just a, uh, he is not just a, maybe a charismatic libretto or someone that can actually change the situation but to bring destructive and uh, he's bringing destructive ideas and mentality to the people austrians say no we are not interested in this madness this is why he left austria and went to germany according to the history and the germans accepted him the germans received him wow a charismatic preacher because a libretto is always a charismatic personality a liberator is not a moron that are walking around looking for how to siphon money from people and say, a liberator should be bold. The Bible says a man who even the he who heart is like that of lion, if you hear about him, he melts. That is the personality of a great liberator. And people always go after such a person. This is why people run after Hitler during those days. But don't knowing that he had different agenda from what he was trying to tell the people because at that time the situation was very bad just like as the bible said that the endless expectation of the whole creation waited for the manifestation of the sons of god the sons of god like as you all know is not like the perverse morons or bad or evil or criminal whatever you call it like in africa talking of both spiritual and physical the leaders are demonic possess beings 
Why? Because you are leading after you lead him. I know you're leading. You lead after 30 years. And the only what one can see from your leading is corruption and perversion. Whatever man can see out of your leading is evil and contamination. What man can see out of your leading is dead and dead and dead. Aut automatically, that shows you that you are fulfilling the desire of your father. Who? The devil. The Bible says, for the devil come not to do what? To steal, kill, and to destroy. The pastors are only there to steal and to steal and to steal and to steal. Do you see that they are fulfilling the desire of their master? The devil. The politicians are also there to steal and to steal and to steal and to steal. Do you see that all the leaders in Africa are only fulfilling the desire of their master, the devil? And that is why there is no progress in Africa. Because under normal circumstances, with the level of church in Africa, if they were to preach on holiness and righteousness, not just only preach on holiness and righteousness, stand on the standard. Because the Bible said, in righteousness you shall be established, and in holiness you shall progress. But when that is not established, it's not only blah blah talking, it's about implementing. Like what the Ghana president was talking about. He was talking about how we can actually make a life in Africa prominent for the young youth. It's not about blah blah talking. It's not about uh, how we can. You can. That is one thing I hate about Africans. They can grammatically explain some certain issue and you, you that are listening to them, you oh wonder, wow, wow. And people will be saying, hey, pastor, right on. It's not about, the Bible says, for the kingdom of God is not in word. It is in the doing. Like as you could see, the Europeans does not come to blah, 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 talk all the grammatical and try to explain what they can do. The Europeans implement those things that they could be talking and you see the fruit thereof, not talking. And how can we set Africa like this and make Africa like this and make Africa like this? It, 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 it is not relevant. Like as I, as I was talking, Hitler was like that. He was not only that, that he was talking. Hitler started to implement some certain things. And people start to see the benefit of what he was saying. And that is why people run after him. I'm talking of the Europeans now. Before his evil intention actually get that data what i'm trying to why i'm saying this is because the suffering in europe here was as it is in africa now and a man came and people came even like me and you and they did not just talk they bring things into practice and as they start to do those things it start to work for them and change his score that is why even and it is not long long time ago that is why you see many things or the life the people are living here and in other words if you go like uh, ukraine if you go like uh, slovakia slovenia hungary romania and all these poor poor countries you see that the government were not did not actually implement those things rightly as other people were implementing like here in austria they don't have much mineral resources like as i always say every time they have only iron as their source of their economy but I'm telling you, these people are living a very good life. How? These are, uh, uh, let alone, let alone here, in, uh, let alone Nigeria, for instance. Let's just say Nigeria, for instance. Look, Nigeria has everything that you take from all the whole African continent to live richly. Like as the Ghana man pointed, the Ghana uh, president pointed, that they are the ones that are supposed to be distributing wealth to other European countries and other Western countries. And the answer is yes. They are doing it although because they are the ones that are sustaining them, but primitively, primitively, um, primitivity, primitively, or how can I put the English, or ignorantly on their own, they are tying themselves out of selfish, stupid, uh, envious uh, character, and they are tying themselves and tying themselves and tying themselves. Why I say they are doing it because, for instance, what that makes America today most, if, I, if I'm not saying, if I'm not lying, I could say at least 70% or 75% from that make America what it is today came from Africa. Britain, 100% what make Britain, Britain today came from Africa. 100%. I say 100% because till today we remain their slave. 
for instance, Haiti that they colonize is no more like they are no more. And what did I Haiti have? Uh, what do they call them? India that they colonize as well. Or what do they have as well? And though the Indians have also liberated themselves a little bit somehow. And other continent, every other places, all the Commonwealth, the Commonwealth place where Britain colonized, all of them have actually as well a little bit liberated themselves. But Africa remain even their perpetual slave. We are talking of Ghana and Nigeria. They remain their perpetual slave until today. It was mostly in Africa, in Nigeria, because, for instance, Ghana. If it is not recently that uh, I, I start to I start to, to hear that uh, Ghanaians has oil, they did not have. Um, although there is uh, uh, like the story I heard about Ghana as well, that Ghana have uh, formerly gold, but it is not mainly the Europeans or the, the, the Britain that, that suck the Ghana wealth. It is who? It is one of the presidents that married an Egyptian woman, and the Egyptian woman suck Ghana. That is exactly what I had, according to the history of Ghana. So, that is to say, the Europeans are not maybe the main problem that uh, Ghana have, because they don't have much. But in Africa, in Biafra land, where we have much, they build all their, in fact, and deck their house, their, and therefore suck and suck and suck, in fact, suck us dry. And they continue sucking. And that is why, uh, uh, should I say Nigeria is one of their, their first son? Of course, Nigeria is not their first son. But why is it that they have much, much, much interest in Nigeria? The reason why they have much, much interest in Nigeria is because of what they're gaining from Nigeria. So, and my question is, Igbo people, why? Igbo leaders. But before then, sorry, I want to say something that just that have just uh, gone out of my brain. We want to congratulate all the Akwaibom people for their compliance to all our struggle to make sure that they are fresh. That's I want to congratulate each and every one of you. If you are an Akwaibom person and you are watching me now, give my thanks at least to as many that you could see. Well, as many of you guys that are watching, I want to thank each and every one of you. You guys did a great job by boycotting the zoo election. That is where what we should do. Somebody was, some people were asking, testing me, message that asking me, what are we doing now? Where are we? And what is the next option? And how can how can the referendum come? Is exactly what we are doing that will bring the referendum at the end. Exactly what we are doing because at the end of the day. You see, when the boy, when, when, for instance, in 2018, that the election will start to stroke 2019. When the election start, and in all Biafra land, and everywhere is boycotted, the way is being boycotted now, the war will come among them. And you see that the, the Southeast and the South South government have met together again to start to discuss on how they can really handle this very issue. That is to say, the power is in your hand, brother and sister. To get our referendum actualized, the power is in your hand. And how? When, there is do, when they are doing election, you sit in your home. Even if it is not to fence Allah, you sit in your home. Even if you don't have anything to eat, you sit at home. After all, all the voting they have been doing, none of them, you have not benefited from any. It is in Europe that one will say, I want to go and vote. When they, they are doing their, num this, their recent election, all the my wife and some people, the mother, they say, ah, please, I want to go and vote. I want to go and vote. But some of them they will forget, and everybody will just rush. So you want to go and vote? Why? Because there is a guy that we are waiting for. We want to bring in. Because it's all right. 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 So there is a guy we want to bring in because the information he's given to us is very significant and we think that by him we can bring our country to where or what we are expecting. That is how it works. But in Nigeria, whether you vote or whether you don't vote, the Fulani will put whoever they, they want as or whoever that is more like more like a humble slave to them, they will put the person in the governorship or whatever. So because of that. We really support each and every one of you. I love you, Afro. I'm in total support of Namde Kano. Namde Kano, not Kalo, please. Namde Kano. Chimera. Namde Kano, not Kalo. It's also Ojo Ozo that is Kalo, but Namde is Kano. 
care a any you cannot beat. Please. So that is exactly what we are saying. We thank each and every one of you for boycotting the zoo election in a quiet bomb state. I don't know if it is a, a local government chairmanship election. Thank each and every one of you for hearing the voice of our director because some people were saying that uh, Aquaibom people are not part of Biafra. Aquaibom is not part of Biafra, but they said that the the war, the Biafra war, the echo was said that the Biafra war, uh, they they give some money, even that the money should also go to all the South Seas and South South and the Lower Binway. That is to say, all the whole places that our director pointed that it is a it is a, a Biafra territory. Everywhere they they said the money should be distributed to all the places. But still, they will tell you that. Biaf um, that all those places are not part of Biafra. Do you see how foolish and how wicked Africa is? And you expect progress. My 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 main talk today is not about all these things that I'm going through, but that I'm saying now, but I'm saying all these things because my heart is full with a lot of nonsense information and with a lot of rubbish that I've been hearing, and we are all because the problem is we are all suffering the same thing. I came from Libya to Europe, and during that time, it was when Muhammad Gaddafi was still there. The Libyan people that are roasting our people, like chicken, I can tell you a story about them, and that is why I believe that even to tomorrow, whatever you guys have seen on television is small to what that happens in Libya. I show the mark of when a Libyan guy they call asthma. Because asthma boys, like as you, oh, one guy have also said it. Asthma boys, among their young youth, they call them asthma boys. Asthma boys are Arab young young boys, and their young boys are they don't hear. They, their young boys don't hear. They don't hear English. They don't hear anything. And they, as far as they don't hear English, they don't hear anything. They don't even hear high because they are not trained. In Arab nation, let me tell you something that you guys don't know. Most of our people know that came from Libya as well. In Arab nation, in Libya, a boy of six years will tell the mother, Hoshida has Zabi. Hoshida has Zabi. Zabi, as you know, is a cause of a um, private party. You use it to make it when, uh, when you make like this. Because this is a cause in Arab nation. Whenever you, are, you, you tell somebody like this, the person will become angry with you because you are, you are causing him in a very bad way or derogatory way. So, an Arab, but Arab boy of six years will tell the mother, Hush that has a bee. Hush means a borum. Hush that has a necom. Hush that means go inside when strangers come. A small boy of five years will tell the mother, Hush that has a necom. And he will be cursing the mother to enter the house. Why? Because when the culture in Arab nation is when a stranger comes, that all the ladies have to hide themselves. They don't need to display themselves so that people will start to see their beauty or something because at home they don't cover their head or their eyes or something like that. So, and if you want to like really want to come out, you have to cover yourself if you want to like attend to strangers when the strangers come. Like most of the time, we go to an Arab house to walk because we are the 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 stranger that call us. Um, and the, uh, the forgotten i have forgotten most of uh, arab um, uh, uh, language and in other words they don't believe that they are africans they call themselves arab they don't believe that they are africans they believe they call themselves arabia they don't until today they don't accept that they are african they accept that they are arabia so because of that they treat you like one of the even why why muhammad gaddafi was there what i'm trying to tell you is that the nature and the way they train these people is very bad. And because of that, they regard nobody. They regard none of your personality and they don't take you as anything. So if they harvest your organ and trade with your organ and with your organ and roast the remaining of your, uh, of your body, they are just displaying a little bit how stupid and how deadly these men are. And these are the kind of people that are in... Arab nation and the, the zoo somebody was talking one time and he was telling me and he was like uh, ah, let Nigeria government send the Ecomog, uh, Ecomog, uh, the Western army they, they should send their Ecomog to Arab uh, to Libya to fight them I was like this guy you never know 
<laughs> guy, if you know who Arab are, you just better shut up your mouth because I said it in my previous video that even the Western world respect them. And I learned that from our director. This is exactly on how you can really stand your ground and defeat the Western end. The Western end fear you when you are very derogatory, when you are very terrible, when you are very terrifying. I'm not just terrifying in talk, blah, blah, talk. When you are terrifying in your character, they respect that and they love that. And they want to like, hey, this guy, can we can actually use him to do something. This is who, when, when I'm talking about Western and I'm not talking of the common people because, for instance, I'm married to one of the citizens, but this is not who we're talking about. We're talking about the leading elites, the people who rule this earth. They have their representative in all over the world, and they are the and they are one family. They call themselves Jew, but they are not actually Jew, as the Bible said. That there are some people who call themselves Jew, but they are not Jew, but they are synagogue of Satan. And they have very strong family. They're the one who control the bank, the, the whole world bank. They're the one who control. This is why they are angry with the North Korea. There are many mysteries that I want, that I could display here, but I don't want to say. I just close my mouth because we are in the world, and that is exactly what we are experiencing here on earth. But the problem is, like as I said, Afri Arab people are very dangerous, and if you dare them, you will receive the consequence. That is exactly the reason why, if you are telling Ekomog or uh, whatever, Ekomog or um, Nigeria army are just dancer of a python when an armless person is uh, around. If not, if uh, if they think that the army give Biafrans an an armor an armor tanker and not just giving them a armor tanker, leave them a little bit and give them a little freedom of space of two years. And don't suppress them. And don't allow, tell them, don't do this, don't do this. Give them that space of two years. Let them manufacture weapon themselves. You go and buy all the whole weapon in the world and say, let us fight war. Then you will see. Do you see that the, the Fulani, the Fulani, uh, what do they call it, army, are only dancers in, in an armless environment? If they want to dance, why shouldn't they, under normal circumstances, after how many years, go and dance in a, in a, in a what do they call it, why shouldn't they go and dance in a, in a, in a, in a, this is their evil forest they call them, a, a Sambisa forest. Why didn't they go and dance there ever since? That is exactly what we are saying. But still, to, today, they will still tell you that they are uh, Nigeria Ekomog. If you temper any Arab person, for instance, Nigeria or all the whole Western Africa, they just say they want to send the army to go and kill. If you try that, Iraq, Syria, and every other Arab nation will gather themselves. If they throw out, in fact, if they throw bomb in your place, Africa will be buried. So you just respect them. Do you see what I mean when I say Igbo people? Why? Wow. It's very terrible. Why? After the Biafran War, the lesson we should learn from the Biafran War, because this is why I talk about Hitler. Because after the time of Hitler, the Europeans learned. And they start to change some certain things. During the Hitler time, whenever they see you that you are a handicapped person, you will be killed. In other words, Hitler wants to breed some certain kinds of people here. It's like, uh, can I call it a uh, uh, human cleansing? Because he need person with uh, blue eyes, although he himself don't have blue eyes. But he want people with blue eyes and blonde hair in all Europe. People with blue eyes and blonde hair. So these are the kind of people they allow that time. Even other people should be killed and be wiped off. That is exactly what we are talking about. But after since all those evil come and pass, they learn and they change. Now, in Europe, whenever you are sick, the level of your sickness determines the kind of money you will be receiving. If you, I'm talking of Austria now. If you are sick that you cannot move your hand, the kind of money you, you they will be giving to your parent, there is no need of your parent working because it's already you you already they they are already satisfied with the money. That is what they learn from what Hitler did before. But he, today, despite the in fact, despite the the the, the worst war 
that have been fought on the face of the earth against Biafrans, mostly to the indigenous people, not that the nation of a, not, a nation and nation were just fighting. Indigenous people worldwide join hand, the whole worldwide join hand to fight indigenous people. And after since that war, under normal circumstances, why is ego leaders who remain so dark? Why do they remain so devilish? Why do they remain so demonic that even to the extent that they are creating some group of people they call some IPOB group in our means to destabilize what we are doing? Igbo leaders, why? Why? After you see even all the subjugation and the marginalization, because this one is not about when somebody is talking about marginalization, somebody will be saying, and what do you, how do you, the whole Nigeria is marginalized, and this and that, what are you talking about marginalization? At least the evidence is obvious that one cannot say, and uh, uh, what are we saying about marginalization? In anonymous circumstances, Nigeria as a country is made up of at least three um, three type of uh, three type of major tribe that is the Igbos, the Aousas, and the Yorubas. The Igbos, the Aousas, Aousas, both Fulani and everything is called Aousas. Now, if this be the case, why is it that if you say that there's nothing like marginalization, why is it that only the Fulani, the Fulani, small time, the Yoruba people rule? Why is it that only the Fulani? Do you know that according to history about Americans, the reason why Americans, the ones, the ruler ones that are taking still the charge of the nation and did not allow like some of all the dark black people to take control because they are the source of the wealth of America. And because of that, they sustain the country by their own power. But where the source of the zoo called Nigeria is coming from, the people are being subjugated, the people are being marginalized, the people are being suppressed, the people are being fooled every blessed day. And still, Igbo leaders, despite all what you should have learned in the previous time, you remain so dark and so daft and so demonic and so pollute. In fact, I can't describe the kind of quality of the evil among the Igbo leaders. The Igbo leaders brought what they call the, the Python dance. Under normal circumstances, our people, the Fulani, are always saying that uh, uh, IPOB are threatening the unity of the zoo called Nigeria. IPOB is threatening the unity of the zoo called Nigeria, and they can do anything. And they know that they cannot do anything without the help of the Igbo leaders. And therefore, they bring small, small money to the Igbo leaders. And you have experienced war. Igbo leaders, you fools have experienced war. Even in a very derogatory way, you have experienced war among your siblings. And in other words, the people you brought to come and do Python dance are the same people who will kill you and maim you. And feed. in fact, in they are the people who cut off our children, our mothers, our pregnant mothers. They cut off their belly and brought out the children and slaughtered the children and slaughtered the same mother. The same Buhari you brought to come and dance, Python dance in Igbo, Igbo land. Igbo leaders, why? Look, uh, we are talking of Libya, Libya.